Hello, and welcome to the Brocade Training Video Series, presented by IT Management Corp. Today, we'll show you how to set up a more granular filtering of the monitoring application events. The Event Actions dialog box allows you to control what events the management application monitors, on which product they're to be monitored, how often they're to be monitored, and what to do when the monitored events are generated. This information can be defined by creating an event action definition. For example, you may not want an alert of any occurrence of topology change traps from a specific product group. Or, you may want to disable a port on a product if an event that resembles an attack on the network occurs at a certain frequency. Another example is if you want to automate a support save command. Or an even better example, if you want to get notified when a specific user logs into a specific switch. Let's go ahead and create an event action definition. To do that, you need to select Monitor at the upper part of the BNA window. Then expand Event Processing and click on Event Action. Then you hit Add, enter a name and description for the event action, let's name it Switch Unreachable, and hit Next. Now, we need to select SNMP Trap that will identify occurrence of the events. Let's add BNA Device Operation Status Change Trap, which can be found under Fast Iron BNA MIB. Note, we can also use other event types that will trigger an action, such as application events, pseudo events, custom events, and snort message. Also, if actions must be confirmed based on a trap variable binding value, verbinds, you can define it under configure verbind filters. When we're done with the trap definition, click next and select the products or product group that we want this event action applied to. We can also select IP subnets to monitor the trap. Next, we define a policy action, such as if the event occurs five times within three minutes, and apply event severity as alert. We can specify a message that will be displayed in the event log window with this event. After this, we specify exactly what action should be taken when this event occurs. Here we can have all kinds of actions, including auto-acknowledge, send an email alert, run a configuration policy, launch a configuration script, mark it as a special event, collect support save information, deploy CLI configuration and deploy product configuration. If you select notify by email, you'll be able to pick a recipient or recipients of this alert and specify this email layout. When you hit next, you'll see the event action summary with all the details we've just specified, so you can go through it one more time before you save it. Thanks for watching.